Interesting. It it. I don't know what the law is for third parties, and Oklahoma happens to be the only state in the country in the last two elections where you could only vote for the Republican or the Democrat. Uh, it is the most restrictive state in terms of third party ballot access as well. But what's what's I don't know what the laws are for third parties as far as residency. I think they have the same law, although the way it was applied before um, was not the draconian way they're trying to apply it now. And what's interesting in some ways about that is there are other states where in the past they've had a residency law and they've applied it more strictly than Oklahoma used to, and we did different things. For instance, we hired witnesses to go with a local person. That's exactly what we would have done in Oklahoma if their law had been written in that way and if state officials had said, no, people can't move into the state. So it's, it's really kind of a gotcha, yes you can do this, oh you did it, now we're going to put you in prison for 10 years. The other interesting thing is, what it means is, these people that came in from out of state to block and harass these petitioners, if you want to come from out of state to deny somebody their civil rights, come on down. You're free to do so. But if you want to come in and help somebody with a petition drive, no, it's against the law. So hopefully the federal courts will we'll get it on this, but uh, I'll tell you, there are, there are some times where uh, waiting on the federal courts or any courts to get it uh, doesn't sound like the greatest thing in the world.